PMK's great campaign for the assembly polls descends upon Karunanidhi's hometown. Will the Free Bee-centred campaign anthem eclipse the heat of the 2G? Discontent in the Congress after they announce its candidate list. Names backed by faction sidelined. Tangabalu's wife gets Myla Paul's seat. Of Magila Congress has applied and all are against him. If any member from Magila Congress, he should have put, will accept it. Will the DMK witness the 2G backlash in urban centres? Listen to voices in Chennai. I think that Spectrum G scam will affect the chances of DMK because if you see the past record of the elections, people have never considered corruption as an issue at all. Trust sort of has been, you know, shaken and taken away. The latest catch by the Election Commission for violating guidelines is a Russian shop officer who is caught for allegedly distributing cash to the people of Vilipuram. And the VCK rolls out its manifesto that focuses on the Elam Tamil issue. Their demands outdo their promises. Welcome to the news tonight. I'm Evelyn Matthew. If there's been someone rubbing another the wrong way today, it's been the Congress's chief here in the state who's done that to his party members, it seems. The burning of effigies and salvos have been heading KV Tangabalu's way ever since Mrs. Tangabalu was chosen over several others to fight out the mighty polls from her Mylapore seat. While that has happened, there's more upbeat electioneering underway at Tiruvarur with the DMK's campaign trail set in motion. We bring you all of that and more on the show tonight, but first to look at the rest of the day's stories at this hour as well. The government hits back at the BJP. The party stage manager now outsourced the cash for vote scam of 2008 to a news channel. Sushma Swaraj dares into the Prime Minister, says ignorance of the cash for vote scam is no excuse at all. After golfer Jeev Milka's coach is asked to remove his turban at Milan Airport for the second time, the Italian ambassador to Delhi is summoned. 4,000 pilots are under scrutiny after reports of fudged documents to get licenses. The crime branch is on the hunt for middlemen. And a defiant Gaddafi says he will win in the end, this even as the US tries to build a consensus on NATO leading the Libya operation. So what will he tell us? This is probably what is running through the minds of most of the locals in Tiruvarur as DMK's top man Karunanidhi gets ready to address them and incidentally formally kick off the DMK Combine's election campaign. Karunanidhi is of course on home turf having grown up here in Tiruvarur but as elections go Karunanidhi will have to uh, talk of not only coming home but also convince the people to vote for him this April 13th against the backdrop of the 2G spectrum scam as well as other issues of particular interest to the people of his constituency such as power, water and better job opportunities for the youth. In fact, uh, the star-studded support has come with comedian Vadi Velu already having made his speech at the constituency as we speak. Well, the Congress party, the main ally of the DMK, has announced its major list of candidates. However, the candidates for the three seats, that's Punamali, Ramanathapuram and Tirupur South, have not been announced so far. S.V. Shekhar has not figured in any of these seats yet. This is the first time that the Congress party has received so many city constituencies from its Dravidian ally. In fact, starting from T. Nagar, where member Chella Kumar is standing from, while in Malapur, Ms. Jayanti Tangabalu, the TNCC chief's wife, is contesting from. In Avadi, Damodaran is pitched while in Roypuram, R. Mano stands. In Tirivika Nagar, C. Natation will be battling it out. While in Ananagar, V. Arivaragan has been fielded. Congress member Yashoda has been pitched from Sri Paramathur, while Arul Anbaras stands from Sholingar. Congress whip Peter Alphonse stands from Kadianalur. The party's youth Congress president Yuvraj faces the elections from E. Road North. Arantangi is where S. Tirnavakarasa will be standing from. Sitting MLA Sivraj is fielded from Rishivandiyam, which is known to be a Congress bastion. It's also the constituency from which Vijay Kant will be taking on the polls from. But post that announcement of that list, there has been a lot of discontent brewing among the several Congress factions. In fact, some congressmen burned uh, effigies of the Tamil Nadu Congress Committee President, Mr. Tangabalu. This uh, evening in front of his residence, those are the pictures you can see up on your screens right now. Well, this has most definitely not gone down too well uh, with those within the state's unit of the Congress 
We spoke to Congress leader Karate Tyagarajan, the sitting MLA from Mylapur, SV Shekhar, and yet another discontent member of the Congress, Ravindran. And from what they are saying, they are in one voice of anger targeting their party chief for giving the ticket to his wife instead of another worthy candidate. They want the decision to be reversed and will protest till the last day of nomination. Here's a portion of what they said. What is there for Jainti Tangabalu? She is not even attend a meeting, single meeting. Only criteria she has got, she is only president, wife of TNGC president Tangabalu. And see Tangabalu has also put one candidate for three week on Nagar. He is Dr. Natesan. He is already involved in kidney scan. Right. He is owner of the Bharat Hospital. In city, two candidates. He has taken nearly one and a half crores from the candidate to give that seat. See, Tangabalu has sold the seat. What criteria he has got? As a TNGC president, he has not even conducted a single meeting. Till uh, from the 2008 when he, uh, when he joined as a TNGC president. I, I want to actually put this question to Mr. S. V. Shekhar who joins us over the phone line. So you have contested and won last time, though not from the same party you are contesting from this time. Do you, Mr. Shekhar, feel let down then at not being given a ticket at all this time as well? No, no, no. You see, because I joined very recently, but according to the AACC norms, they, they told us this time all sitting MLAs will get a seat. I don't know. Why they have uh, not given me the seat? Probably uh, Mrs. Jayanti Tangabalu is more uh, uh, patriotic uh, to the country or to the party. I don't know. And uh, uh, these, uh, sometimes we are uh, fighting to get more number of seats. But uh, the most of the time we are putting wrong candidates. So instead we get the limited seat and uh, put the winning candidate. Probably if... Uh, Jayanti Tangabalu is not there. Mr. Karate Dharajan is a better candidate. Who, who already, uh, who, the public of Mailapur, uh, they know him very well, probably. Now he, he belongs to Vyadachari consciously. But he knows Mailapur and Mailapur public uh, also know him very well. But putting the wrong candidate means we are giving the cake to the opposite party. That, that's the main idea. Because this is a crucial election. Uh, nothing is easy this time. There is no cake walk for anybody. This time we should be more careful probably. I don't know what is uh, going on. Despite that list, that uh, your party now has favoured the credentials of Ms. Jayanti Tangabalu over you then. Why has that happened then according to you? No, no, I don't want to comment anything against my party because party has decided and the party will uh, will scrutinise our post-mortem after the release. So that's all. I don't, why should I uh, comment about the party in public? Uh, that's not right. More and more factions targeting Mr. Tangabalu now? Yeah, this Tangabalu new is very selfish. See, as a youth congress, I was with him. Mm -hmm. When he was selfish and he put, he split in 1989 against him. So he's done the same thing. He's very selfish. He does only for his family. He wants, he never encourages. See, uh, for uh, Mailapur, why he wants to put any, can put any worker. S.V. Shekhar is joined, he's a sitting MLA, you know, he's a public worker and a lot of Magila Congress has applied and all are against him. He, he can, any member from Magila Congress, he should have put, will accept it. Lot of uh, ladies were applied for the seat constituency. Why did he never consider them? And Mr. Periyasamy, who from Nada community, Perindarul Makkal Kachi, they also applied for the seat. They would have considered him. You can give any party worker. I don't know why the Tangabalu's wife should be brought in. Right. There were also reports that you were perhaps pitched for Velachiri or Mailapur. So, no, no, you, as far not, as your uh, no, chances sir, Vela goes? No, Velachiri, my, my, uh, I, was, I was the only one who contested for 1994 last Mailapur by-election. Only Congress candidate who contested in the by-election for the, for the 20, uh, 15 years. No one has contested. It's all the same. Mm -hmm. the formerly, so my, my house was formerly Mailapur constituency. In the realignment, it's no valetary. So I've been accustomed to the city, everything. So we are only working for that. Even Tangabalo's wife is from valetary constituency, if you want to take that. Okay. He's from Nage, where if he wants to MP, he, 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 he will stand in Salem. For his wife, he wants to put in Mailapur. What is all this? So now, are you and other factions now really coming against uh, Mr. Tangabalu? The whole Congress, all, all, the whole Congress people, mm -hmm. all the leaders are against Tangabalu's candidate putting uh, uh, Jaini Tangabal. You see, you take Avadi constituency. Now he has put a Damodaran there. What is Damodaran stand there? And for Titani, he has put a man from uh, this, uh, an office bearer from this. 
So you want to put all his chum stars who has given money, is all all his candidate. I don't know. This election is crucial for Congress party. Rahul Gandhi, Rahul Ji has developed the Congress party. More than 15 lakh members have joined. He has given hard-working Congress candidates about seven to eight seats, youth Congress office bearers to to promote youth Congress. We also, I was a senior vice president for the youth Congress in 99. We all are from the base, Congress base. What I don't know what is uh, Tangabal's wife has done for the party. Not even a single uh, party movement. She is a, a, a MD of one particular TV. She does functions only Kamala Jarangam, only for TV shows. Right, we actually part. tried to get in touch with her over the phone line, but she said she would not comment before fi filing that nomination. But I want to ask you at this point that whether you would continue to uh, really campaign and work for the alliance and campaign for your compatriots at this point of time. See, we, we want to show a protest to the high command. Right. As finally, you see, there are last days 26. The finally is uh, once is approved, then we have to work for the hand symbol because that's my, my high command decision. Mm -hmm. So that way we will work for the alliance to uh, so you see that 234 constituency we have to work for the alliance and we'll go by the high command. But we want to protest this candidate is not good. We want a better candidate. Anyone from the party can be given a reward for working for the party. Now, while the 2G ghost has uh, knocked the chief minister's doorsteps, will it really dent the party's vote bank? Will the biggest scam of the nation be a deciding factor when people cast their worst, uh, votes on uh, the 13th of April? We at NDTV Hindu spoke to a cross-section of Chennai's public on what they think of the scam and whether it will affect the ruling party's chances at the 14th Assembly elections. And here's their verdict. <laughs> created a huge, you know, I mean, the scam created huge waves everywhere. And for the common man, they don't really know the details of what happened. You know, it's just the name. Ki. The name got spoiled. So the trust sort of has been, you know, shaken and taken away. Uh, as a country, probably, uh, we have got, we got sort of numbed by all the corruption. I'm not sure if it's going to affect anything. Uh, it's not only the educated crowd or the uh, A class or the literate crowd that knows about the 2G spectrum. If, if, if you get a chance to talk to an auto driver or somebody uh, who's from a rural side, even they know what a 2G scam is. They exactly don't know what 2G is, but they know the government has spindled a lot of money. The 2G spectrum is awareness. The people who are in the world because Raja is a individual MP come individual ministry so he has done the mistake so he has to bear the consequences. No, I will think that DMK or Mr. Karnanidhi, Chief Minister, cannot affect from this case. I am sure that uh, certainly it is uh, going to affect in spite of uh, welfare because today most of the people uh, forget the welfare schemes once they get the welfare what they want. They only deal with the current situation and what is current today. I don't think that Spectrum G scam will affect the chances of DMK because if you see the past record of the elections, people have never considered corruption as an issue at all. They have accepted corruption as a fact of life. Uh, if you touch rice, if you touch onion, and they will vote against, Congress, against the, the ruling party. If at all DMK loses, it will be because of anti-establishment vote. And also a fairly good alliance that has been sewed up um, by Jai Lalita with Vijay Khan. You're watching the news tonight on NDTV Hindu. Up ahead, Durban troubles played the coach of India's top golfer the second time. Looks like Italy hasn't learned from the last time.